I just managed to persuade my boss to move away from the long use of iPhone series to buy Google Pixel 3a today. Now, one of the main reasons I left uh, Apple by after using five or six years, and also I managed to convert my boss uh, to leave the iPhone family today to join and buy the Pixel 3a is because the main reason is the price of the phone. Apple is keep say, praising about their new product saying, oh, you got, you're going to have this fantastic function here and there, but you got to pay a lot of money for it, right? And um, I just thought like, I never ever personally thought that a phone that you carry will exceed more than $1,000 one day. And um, that's exactly what happened a long time ago. And that's one of the main reasons I left. And I'm still glad I left and I actually bought a Google Pixel 3 XL, which is about seven or eight hundred dollars, which is two hundred dollars cheaper than what iPhone provides. Now, and this article that was published on the 28th of July this month um, pretty much sums it up. Why it shows why Apple is going down, which I, we know that Apple iPhone 11 is going to be more and more expensive with little jump of technology, while as uh, they're emphasizing praising Google Pixel 3a, how Google uh, use their strategy to make it a successful story now apparently google pixel 3a is a great success they have doubled or tripled amount of their sales recently and because they know what customer want good valued product and this is why i predict which i have been doing for many years that iphone since uh, the great steve job have passed away the great man passed away this is why i think apple's going down so um, before we get into the more details of what's coming up with the Google Pixel 4, I just want to from someone please to give me a credit on what, raising this issue about solely project that is going to be applied to the next Google phone. I mean, I've been saying this for about past six, seven months that Google is going to have solely uh, project, solely chip implanted to it. The next Google phone. This was seven or six or seven months ago and I was the only, I'm pretty sure I was the only YouTuber who predicted this. And today, Verge, The Verge, uh, well known for tech um, news and so on, have actually confirmed this, but not only that, but Google's YouTube official website actually published a YouTube video clip, very short uh, video clip summarizing what's coming up with Google Pixel 4. So let's show you the video clip. So here it goes. Say hello. Say hello. Face on lock. You saw that? But the hand gesture. This is solely project here in practice. Oh, that's brilliant. I love this um, video clip. This is amazing. The great G Google. So that's the video of Google. So you saw that the face recognition uh, on lock, but also the solar project hand gesture. So not only you can flick through the pages, but I'm sure you could do many hand gesture uh, so that you could play magic with the next phone, which is very, very important because I don't think iPhone's gonna have this function. And I'm just gonna, we could get into more details later on about why it's so important about the solar project. Now, so The Verge actually says the Google Pixel 4 will unlock using the face scan and it seems they put a lot of effort to it. So I don't know whether you remember from my previous video, I have shown you a leak image from the Twitter, what Google Pixel will have in the front bezel with all the you know, holes cut out. And I predicted that there's going to be a solely sensor attached to it and quite rightly it was the case as I predicted again and again and again, but we're just going to scroll down to what is actually, I believe this is Google's um, official uh, picture. But well, let's see how many face unlock feature there are on uh, Google Pixel 4. So we got one on the left, the face unlock IR camera, and then there's the front, oh actually, and then if we move along about four or five of them, we've got face unlock dot projector, which I believe is the same as what you saw from the um, iPhone. It reads through the dots of your face that recognize your face. And we got the face unlock IR camera. So there's two face unlock IR camera and then a face unlock uh, flood illuminator. So there's a lot of face unlock features. They have put a lot of emphasis 
Um, there used to be two front cameras now, front facing camera now they reduced to one. I don't know whether this new front facing camera will have the zoom out version or not because I love that feature. I hope it does. But anyway, if it doesn't, fine. I mean ambient light proximity sensor which many phones already have so it adjusts to screen brightness, audio port, we all know that. The most important feature, Soli Radar chip is finally there. So I think Soli Radar, uh, Soli Radar chip not only will be able to use the hand gesture, but also I think by using the radar, uh, it will recognize the shape of your head. So it will give more uh, credit or more accuracy of reading your face. So these are the front bezel um, details that it's actually released. So I just want to let you know like how fantastic this Google Pixel 4 is. And I think they made a fantastic decision on going back step towards to the design of the Pixel 2. We had so much debate going on about whether the Google Pixel 3 will have a bezel or not. And I don't really, really, really enjoy this sticking out the tooth version of a bezel, which is trying to follow up what Apple has been doing. But just boldly go with the back um, step with more confidence, with more techie sort of uh, upgrade, which is brilliant. It shows how bold they are and confident they are with their design. And um, Google Pixel 2, I believe many people praised it. They love the product. And that's, I think that's what they're following through what the customer really wants. And I'm sure this is gonna be much better value than the iPhone 11. Um, so I want you guys, especially if you're a loyal um, iPhone user, please, you consider don't get abused by the jacking up price uh, mistreatment of iPhone but join the Google family to appreciate how much technology uh, we can enjoy with the really good price provided by uh, Google and I'm not be even being sponsored Google uh, or YouTube don't know I exist but I just want to first of all just I don't care who you are but please acknowledge me that I knew when everyone was ignoring, I knew six or seven months ago, I'm gonna put this video link down below that I predicted that Soli project is gonna be applied for the next Google Pixel, um, which is Pixel 4. And today is the official day that they announced it. So I'm so happy about that. So please congratulate me and please acknowledge me. So thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best, bye-bye.